It is bright and early in the morning. We are getting ready to take a huge donation to the diaper bank for Miss Tara to sprinkle it everywhere that we donate to. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Shannon and Tara is somebody that I work very closely with that helps me to take everything that I find in the dumpsters and donate it to tons of different places. Everywhere I donate to absolutely knows where the stuff comes from. They are totally okay with it. As most of you know that watch my channel, all of these items are perfectly fine. Now, most of them come from the dumpsters, but a lot of you, my subs, send me donations, which is amazing, by the way. I just had a live donation opening. We have tons of items here, so we're gonna load my car up take everything over to Miss Tara for her to separate it and she will deliver it for me. Then I'll take you to the beginning and we'll go dumpster diving. All right, guys, we brought, I say we, but it really wasn't me. It was Tara's helpers that are amazing. They unloaded everything from my car, brought everything in, and Tara will go through this and split everything up. There is also, um, I don't know if you can see out there, the mac and cheese and the ramen that I set next to Tara's car. There are some more items like the fruit snacks and the fruit cups things like that that you guys have sent for donations that will also go to the school district kids, so. First dumpster of the day, it's a DG, but of course. And we got lots of black bags, and looky here. I see Febreze, and oh, God, it's a goodies in there. <laughs> so excited, all right, let's get it. There's definitely some stinky bacon in there. There's so many goodies in that bag. There's pads. Oh my God, so exciting. Let me show you guys a little sneak peek. Foam plates, some always pads in there, and so much more. All right guys, we are at Ollie's, which loves to destroy. They destroyed the chair back there. They destroyed this um, what are those things called? You know, like a cover thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And they sliced, I think, the sleeping bag. I'm not sure, but I think these curtains are okay. Hopefully they didn't cut this whole sleeping bag. I think they did. Yep, they did. They sliced it, and I can't donate that to the pet shelter either because when they're ripped like that, the dogs just need to rip them to shreds even more. They asked me not to donate stuff like that. Yeah, that planner's broken. So we got some curtains. <laughs> Better than nothing, right? So we're at a DG and I walk up, I check the dumpster and I'm like, oh man, there's nothing. And then I see this bag and I rip it open and there's all kinds of goodies in there. Don't mind if I do. Thank you to the employee that left that out. We're at the next DG. It's looking empty. Oh my word. Not empty. All right. Let's jump on in this beast. Coke Zero. We got big bottles of Coke and Dr. Pepper. Hands. Oh, nice, guys. Check this out. Box of lavender hand soap. A whole freaking case of it because one leaked. More bottled water. We got leggings. Oh, yeah. We got a big bag of stuff, guys. Holy freaking cow. All right, let's get out of here. There is a lot in this bag. Cherry Coke. And now I got to drag this bad boy <laughs> over to the car and hope that I can pick it up. We're going to have to put some of this in a bag. Sorry for my crazy hair. Please don't mind it. <laughs> okay. 
Now I can get the rest of this in the car. Oh my gosh, guys. We are at Walgreens. Oh, crap. I dropped Joe in the dumpster. Sorry. But we got all kinds of goodies in here. We got shampoo if I can get it. That stuff is not cheap. Undies. More soon. Oh, crap. Here comes somebody. Oh, well. Every time I come to this dumpster, they freaking open the door. <laughs> it's okay though. We're gonna come back in like 10 minutes. I don't really care. We're at a DG. I'm gonna go run and check this and see if there's any goodies in there. Walgreens. I peeked around the corner to see if, if they were out there and I'm glad I did because they're still throwing stuff out. All right guys we are at the next DG. Is she looking full? Is she full of good stuff or trash? Let's find out. Got some tahini. Is that how you say that? I think we might have some more goodies in here holding masks in there and there might be stuff in these bags. All right, let me set y'all down. A bunch of cooling masks, perfect for summer. Oh yeah, we got some goodies in here guys, cereal. Charging cables, hangers, more cooling masks. There's a ton of these cooling masks in there. My girls do cheer, and the girls always need these cooling towels, so I could hand them out to the whole cheer squad. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so I cannot believe they threw all those away. Yay. Like summer isn't even here yet. Why would you throw those out? Uh, I'll never understand, guys. I will never understand. This is the last DG and I'm already seeing a fan. Let's hope it's in the box. Oh, it is, it is. Let's hope there's stuff in these black bags too. Any goodies in here? Guys, check my freaking car out. Oh my gosh. This is definitely an epic one. First of all, can I just say, those cooling towels that I found at that one DG, did you happen to see the price? <laughs> $5 each. Now granted, there are two towels in each package, but $5 each. They threw out a whole entire shelf of them. That's just crazy to me, especially since it's only spring. Summer is not even here yet, so... I, I don't know, I don't understand it. But anyway, I'm gonna stop flapping my gums, flip y'all around and show you all the goodies behind me. And then we're gonna find out together what's in all these goodie bags. We have tons of cherry Coke, Coke Zero, Diet Coke, bottled water, 
Dr. Pepper, foam plates, all of that lavender soap, of course, all of the cooling towels, and there's a lot of them here. It's earbuds, $10 light bulbs that are battery operated and have all different colors, whole package unopened of AA batteries. Again, no idea why they would throw those away. I would absolutely love to know though. All of these little phone squishies, snap lid containers, 16 inch fan, women's leggings, and men's and women's pajama pants. A few hangers, 23 pound box of cat litter. Got aluminum foil, this cute little hat that you put the pom pom on. Women's underwear, women's socks, two boxes of cereal, the curtains that we got from Ollie's, a native body wash and the Walgreens brand body wash from the Walgreens dumpster before I almost got busted. They never say anything to me. They just open the door and like look at me. <laughs> so I was like, uh, I'll come back. And I tried to come back and they were still out there. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to save anything else out of that dumpster, but I am sure another diver did. We also have whole blend shampoo, always ultra thin pads, dial soap, Tylenol, sunglasses, painter's tape. Also got the underwear out of the Walgreens and some laundry pods. Now we have five grab bags to get through. So let's get it. Bag number one. Oh my gosh. They literally threw a whole container of garbage bags away. Like, why can't they use them in their store? I don't know, but I got me some garbage bags. Yes and amen. <laughs> Banana Twinkies, Mamba Magic Stick Candies, cute little journal, Aaron's Thinking Putty, Folgers Coffee, a bunch more Aaron's Punny, <laughs> Punny? <laughs> I can't talk. Those are always such a fabulous donation. I love finding toys or stuff like that for the kiddos. Mini Cheetos, a bunch of Kit Kats. My husband's gonna interrupt the video. <laughs> Don't step on my stuff. Everybody say hi to the husband. Bandage rolls, more banana Twinkies, dry shampoo, more Twinkies, a booger sucker. <laughs> I remember those days when my girls were little. Fudge dipped shortbread cookies. And looks like the rest is trash. Not too bad for bag number one. All right, yes and amen. Let's move on to bag number two. More foam plates. Listen, I ain't gotta buy paper plates, foam plates for like the rest of my flipping life, okay? <laughs> Lipton tea bags, coffee filters. What the heck? A hole? Are you kidding? <laughs> they all fell out the bottom. Well, a bunch of two cycle motor oil. Lysol, two bottles of Lysol. I am not gonna take any food out of this bag because all of this oil that's opened. So if there is any food in here, I'm not taking it. Ooh, we do have a candle though. It's broken on the bottom, but I can cut these up into wax melt, so I will keep that. Put work gloves, and the rest is this oil. I'm sure the hubby will use that two cycle oil, but I'm just gonna set it out of the way, that way it doesn't get on anything else and, you know, taint anything. This is the one that was sitting outside of that DG, not even in the dumpster. It was sitting next to the dumpster. So, thank you again to that employee that did that. Props to you, boo. We have a box of Lucky Charms, Fruity Pebbles, more graham crackers. These must have been on the penny list or something because I am forever finding these the past three weeks. Wheat Thins Original, Danishes. We also have some perfectly good bags. What in the world would you throw those away for? Somebody please tell me. <laughs> like, these don't expire, okay? So, no idea why they threw those out, but they did. And we got another one. Metal stemless wine glass. More graham crackers, wheat thins. Another box of Fruity Pebbles. One of my faves, I may have to keep that. Pringles, it is sealed, it's just missing the lid. An iPhone charging cord. A mystery can of some sort. The rest are just more danishes. We have two bags left. In this one, we have, oh, 
Unfortunately, that ain't gonna be good. Three, four, five, six boxes of Ritz crackers, Oreo candy snacks, bunch more of the stuffed marshmallows, Kit Kat snack size, a few of these little, um, what the heck are these things called? You know, those little lights. <laughs> what the heck are they called? Um, where the sun, I listen, words are hard for me today. I have like three hours of sleep in me, okay? <laughs> you guys know what they are. I don't need to tell y'all. The rest is a bunch more of the marshmallows. And in the last bag, we have a big box of Always Candy Liners, a three pack of Cold and Flu Meds, some Tussin. <laughs> I don't know why I always laugh at that. I just think it's so funny that it's called Tussin and not like Robitussin, like the name brand. I don't know. I, I'm so tired. I'm, I'm hallucinating at this point. Magazines that we can donate to the nuns. Caesar dog food, which is a great donation for the no-kill shelter. So four packages of dog food. A bunch of the Blue Heat Talkies. Black hair dye, everything's in there. The box was just opened, so we could definitely still donate that. More cold and flu relief. More freaking batteries. <laughs> Nothing burns my biscuits more than finding unopened packages of batteries in the trash. Like, why? I just, why? <laughs> I just don't understand. The rest are just copies. And here is an overview of everything I found. And that, my friends, is everything. I mean, not too shabby for like five hours of diving, I gotta say. I also wanted to share with you guys, so do you remember, it was a few dives ago, I found that huge box of wooden craft letters at that 1DG. It wasn't even opened, it was still sealed in plastic. So I gave it to Tara and was like, I don't know if you know anywhere you can donate this to, maybe the school district kids, I don't know. It ended up that two of the ladies that help her, Miss Liz and Miss Cheryl, said we have the perfect place to donate those to. So there is an art center in our area called Miss Gabby's Art Center, and she's a disabled woman that helps other disabled people do art projects. Like how freaking perfect. They were so excited to have them. I think it's just a great organization. So another perfectly good item we saved from the trash. Now that my family is done trudging up and down the steps like a herd of elephants, I just think it's a wonderful organization uh, that Miss Gabby does to help other disabled people find an outlet with art. But that is gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me at the dumpsters. And today in the reveal, I of course will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time, happy diving.